What's going on guys? Welcome back to Next Level X. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a game coming out called The Surge. Now, this is an upcoming Souls-like title where you play as Matt Damon, and your goal is to take down a corrupt-ass Jodie Foster, and the only way to do that is to cut off the arms and the legs of every enemy you see in the game. So, all jokes aside, The Surge is an upcoming Souls-like title from Deck 13, uh, the same studio that brought us Lords of the Fallen, so not the best pedigree, but also could be worse. Lords of the Fallen wasn't a terrible game, but it definitely paled in comparison to any Souls game that's ever been made. Uh, I enjoyed it, but it was kind of clunky and didn't have any online features and didn't have a lot of replayability and had a pretty lackluster story and had a pretty poor way of telling the story so but it was a, a triple-a souls-like game and it was one of the first ones we had seen if not the first pure imitation of the souls-like formula from a studio other than from software so it is a you know a decent pedigree in the way that at least this company is serious about making Souls-like games, which is awesome, and I'm, I'm glad to see more uh, a company taking it seriously and making more of these titles. That being said, uh, as some of you guys know, I did have the chance to go to Germany and attend Gamescom this past year, and I did get the chance to play this game for about 15-20 minutes. Uh, I waited in line for about two and a half hours to get the chance to do that, so I mean if that's any sort of indication, you know, there's a decent buzz around this game. I mean there were several other people willing to wait in line that long to get 15 minutes with this game, so I mean that's a decent sign that uh, there's some buzz about this game. But anyways, uh, I figured since I was able to actually put my hands on this game, I would give you guys a little preview of what it actually feels like. and you know a general preview of how this game is shaping up okay so let's get the big things out of the way right from the get-go this game will have no online functionality or multiplayer functionality whatsoever uh, this game you cannot create your own character it is about a specific character so it's similar to Lords of the Fallen in that way and it's obviously a sci-fi take on the Souls formula, which is something that I have been personally begging for for a long time now. And it's, you know, even during our discussion about our Perfect Souls game, you know, this should be my Perfect Souls game. This should be checking all the boxes, but for some reason, it's not. And we're going to go ahead and get right into that. So during my time with this game, which wasn't extremely extensive, uh, like I said earlier, only about 15 or 20 minutes, um, I noticed some things that were a little bit troubling uh, and made me a little bit less excited for this game than I was to begin with. First of all, the combat. Now, you can't expect every game to have combat that's just like Dark Souls. I mean, take Neo for instance, that game is different from Souls in a plethora of ways, but I really enjoyed all the differences in that game, and I think it, all those things really added to that game having its own identity and having its own, you know, sense of fun to it. Now, this game, the combat is different from Souls, but in a way that I don't particularly like as much. At first, when I encountered my very first enemy, I tried to take it slow, I tried to, you know, time out my dodges really well, I tried to get in when I when I thought it was safe and get some hits in and get out and kind of play it like a Souls game, play it safe, dodge around, and I was getting wrecked, I was just losing and dying over and over again. Now, I'm not saying that this game is easy because it wasn't, I was, I was losing and it did seem challenging, but I realize rather quickly that with easier earlier game enemies at least the ones that I encountered it actually was smarter to run up to them and simply button mash seriously like run up to the enemy and if I were just to button mash on my attack button all day it would charge up the little meter the, the energy meter you have and then you hold I think triangle maybe and you do like a really cool looking execution move where you kind of cut off a body part or, or some crazy shit like that when it all looked really cool but 
I didn't like the fact that it was almost encouraging button mashing. It didn't encourage the reserved smart player. And that's not a good thing for me. Now that being said, once I realized that, I kind of I got in there, I just started, you know, I would blow past the first couple enemies because I would just button mash them to death. And then I got to uh, this, this spider-like enemy and I didn't have the chance to beat it within the 15 minutes I played. I actually didn't beat the uh, this spider enemy here, and uh, it was hard. It was it was different. It was difficult. And I'm not, you know, talking shit about this game, saying oh it's you know it's easy. It's not you know hardcore enough. The game's not easy, but the combat didn't feel very rewarding or gratifying. It felt clunky. It felt, it felt similar to Lords of the Fallen, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if they're using the same general engine that they used for that game. To be honest, I have no idea if they are or not, but it wasn't some rev revelation in uh, action RPG combat by any means. Uh, it definitely didn't feel as good as a Souls game typically does. It didn't feel as skill-based as a Souls game typically does. Um, you know, I really want to be excited for this game, but the fact that there is no multiplayer, there's no uh, character creation, it, it's just, it should be checking all the boxes for me. I should be ecstatic and excited for this game, but I'm just not feeling that hyped after actually getting my hands on it. I'm way more hyped for Neo, um, really, really hyped for that game. But this game, man, it just didn't do it for me in the time that I had with it. Uh, I've, I've often talked about wanting a mech, you know, mech fantasy Souls game. And I've even said, you know, it didn't have to be full-size mechs. It could be human-sized, you know, robot suits. And that is damn near exactly what this game is doing. But everything feels a little bit sterile. Like... The weapons aren't that exciting to me for some reason. The industrial look of everything doesn't excite me that much. I wish that they had put a little bit more fantasy on it. Like, I'm okay with the, you know, robotic sci-fi future, but they kind of, they tried to make it seem grounded in reality so much to the point where it's like, you know, we actually have these robot. You're gonna, we're gonna have these robot suits, and it, you know, I've got forklift arms right now, and I use those for lifting things. And it's just, it, it's not cool. It's not like I'm not like, whoa, look at those forklift arms. I really want those as a weapon. Like that's not fucking exciting. That's not fucking cool, dude. Like I want a fucking beam sword or some shit. I want a blaster cannon or something tight. But all this shit is just like, hey, we're gonna give you a shovel and a fucking uh, rake for a weapon and it's and you're gonna hit people with it and it's gonna be super fun it's like no dude that's not what you want to do that's not how you want to do it so with that all being said I mean the game looks good like graphically uh, it looks good I do like the dismemberment thing it's 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 an interesting idea I like the idea of cutting off you know body parts to acquire that as your own armor that you can pick up or weapon or whatever there's a couple cool ideas going on in here, and the game looks pretty good, but, you know, I, I'm, I was playing an alpha build, and they might smooth out some of the kinks as far as the combat and gameplay go, uh, I hope the combat feels a little bit smoother, and I hope it feels like it rewards intelligent play a little bit more than it felt like uh, when I played it, but only time will tell really, I think this, is, this game slated for an early 2017 release if I'm not mistaken, but uh, in conclusion guys, I mean, I'm gonna keep my eye on this game, it's definitely a game that I'll I'll play at least, I'll try it out when it, when it comes out, but I'm not quite as hyped or as hopeful as I once was after getting my hands on it, uh, but you know, then again, it was a very early uh, part of the game, it's a very early build of the game, it's, it's really hard to tell how the game's really going to turn out, but the fact that it doesn't have any multiplayer online mechanics does mean that the lifespan of this game will be pretty limited and uh, the replayability 
will be pretty limited as well so um yeah guys i mean this is definitely one to keep your eye on but we'll see i'm i'm anticipating a a 7 out of 10 quality game here um i think it's gonna probably be right at you know the lords of fallen level where it's like oh i appreciate it because it's a souls like game but it's not gonna be you know anybody's game of the year i don't think but we'll see i'm excited for more souls like games to come out regardless i hope people just keep on uh doing that and keep on making souls like games i would like to see some more pvp obviously it just really extends the life of the game by a lot and uh the replayability by a lot but uh as always guys thanks for watching and uh don't forget praise the sun <laughs>